for Chris's holiday lights. These are from 5710 North Cochrane Street in Spokane. Some gorgeous lights. You can see they have a little bit of everything in their yard and just in time for the holiday. Going to see a lot of beautiful Christmas lights over the next day or so here and then the time is up. So hopefully you have your house all decorated as we head into tomorrow. Merry Christmas, of course. And we have some great viewer pictures from all of that snow that we've been getting. This one is from Joanne. She said her son built this awesome snowman, a pretty big snowman, very impressive. I think she said it was nine feet, so pretty big snowman. And then this is from Rakan. This is over Spokane Valley last night. Gorgeous shot of all of the houses there covered in snow. And then we have a couple more. This one is in North Spokane. This one is from Rick. He said there was a break in the snow this afternoon. He wanted to get out and get some of those beautiful weather shots and he definitely did a gorgeous shot of his backyard and this one is my favorite goats in coats this one is from ryan and he said merry christmas from my kids to yours very great picture of that definitely a good one and we are going to see those snow flurries calm down a little bit so there's good news in the forecast some light snow flurries tonight 21 degrees for our overnight low winds will be light tomorrow some chances of snow showers throughout the day but then that's about it for a little while 27 degrees for our high tomorrow so those temperatures starting to drop winds will be out of the northeast 5 to 10 miles per hour those snow showers doesn't look like it will be any accumulation just some light snow showers throughout the day today's high 31 degrees a low of 20 27. Usually our high is 31, so we are right on track for this time of year, but we are going to be dropping below that over the next few days. 30 right now in Spokane. Winds out of the south at 3 miles per hour. Coeur d'Alene, 30 degrees as well. Winds are calm. We still have some light snow showers moving through the region. That's why we are going to expect some snow flurries yet this evening, uh, but those are going to flicker out by tomorrow, and then we're just going to see some slight chances of snow showers as this system lingers through uh, the day tomorrow. But besides that, things are calming down. Still a winter weather advisory in effect. That's until 7 p.m. tonight uh, for the central panhandle of Idaho and into western Montana. Looking at the passes, receiving an additional two inches above 4,000 feet. So if you are traveling that direction, you may encounter some wintry weather on the roadways. That low pressure system to the north of us and the low pressure system to the south of us are moving out of the region as we head overnight and we are going to see those replaced by some uh, high pressure. That's going to continue building in over the next couple days, bringing us some cooler air and also some cloudy skies, uh, but not quite as much precipitation as we have been seeing, actually none at all over the weekend. So just those cooler temperatures is what we're expecting. And uh, just snow showers tomorrow throughout the day, 27 for the high. You can see overnight lows drop quite a bit, 11 degrees from Friday into Saturday, and then 26 on Saturday. Some chances of freezing fog in the morning. Sunday staying fairly clear, 27 for the high. Monday we have another slight chance of flurries. We're just going to see a mild trough move through. And then fog Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, 28 degrees. So those temperatures, you can see overnight lows dropping quite a bit. We're going to be almost into the single digit. That's bitterly cold. It's going to be Oof. chilly out there, but be prepared. Done with the snow for a little while. Just those snow showers for tomorrow, which I think is nice for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, that's nice to have a few flakes coming yeah. down.